We're going to cover the markets, we're going to cover politics, we're going to cover technology, so a whole bunch of stuff real fast. What we're going to do on the market side, we'll talk about things like interest rates and whether or not they're telling us anything about a coming recession. On the politics side, we'll talk about trade. Obviously, that's a big topic right now. We'll also talk about the 2020 elections. And on technology, we'll talk about market structure and how it's changed over time and how it may be influencing the markets in a way that you may not be aware of. We're going to talk about the things that I mentioned at the beginning. We'll, we'll get to all those areas. But we're also going to do something a little bit different, something that's a little bit unusual, something that's a little bit unique. I'm going to give you the opportunity money model. Now, this is just a simple structure that allows you to frame the big stories, the big narratives that are driving asset values in all of the markets. Now, look, it, it, it's not for everybody in the room. I totally understand that, but if you want to educate your clients, if, if you want to ease their concerns during these volatile times, and, and if you want to find a way to just maybe you can connect to those millennials, and really anybody with it, uh, then the Opportunity Money Model is a great way to do that. And you know what? It all begins with this, right here, right? You see that? Let, let me do it again, because I missed it the first time too if you didn't get it. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you gravity. Now that was funny, right? You can laugh at this. Martha got it, so thank you, Martha. Um, now, gravitational pull, right? That's what we're thinking of. Gravitational pull when it comes to markets, right? What are the big themes, the big stories that create momentum and trends in the market? That's what we're shooting for when we're talking about the opportunity money model.